What's up guys, welcome back to Software and Artist Solutions, and today we're talking about Starfield and its latest updates. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Steam has released this game recently, and it is made by Bethesda, so just, yeah, just bear with me. They have a lot of things that needs to be added into this game still, so if you would like to see more videos about this and the best settings that you can be using right now for all users out there, low-end, medium-end to high-end users on PC, Subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave a like if this video actually worked for you. Alright, let's jump straight into it. These are the settings that I'm currently running right now. And I would highly recommend you use this if you use no upscaling at all and you've got a decent enough machine. So let's say you have a medium to a high end machine. This will be the settings you're going to be using. So you're going to press escape, you're going to go to settings and you're going to go to display and you're going to come inside here. Now obviously this is your own personal preference but I do recommend putting this at borderless full screen. Have this like this. And this should be the way you should be going, right? Then obviously custom. You can have your shadow quality at medium. You're going to go with that. You're going to go with indirect lighting at low. There is a huge impact on FPS when you push this higher, especially when you're out in the environment. I do not recommend this to be put any higher than low. Just leave it at low for now. For now, just leave it at low, okay? Leave it there. Reflections, we're going to have at medium. This is... Just in general, I would put this at medium. Don't push this any higher. I do not recommend putting this lower because if you're going to put this lower, the, the game in general overall, the reflections of the game is going to give you like an eyesore and that is not something that you want as a medium to a high-end gaming machine enthusiast. So from over here to particle quality, I would recommend to put this at medium as well. Volumetric lighting, you're obviously going to have this at medium as well. Please go ahead and do that. I have done a couple of bench tests on seeing what these settings do and why they should be on these settings. So I highly recommend you put this at medium over here. Crowd density is something that I would recommend that you put at low. Now, the higher you put this, if you put this to medium or high, if you have this at high, the more NPCs are going to be rendered in while you are walking. And you'll just see them pop up on the screen, they'll just randomly appear on your screen. Now, if you put this to medium, the less NPCs are going to be spawning while you are walking. When you put this to low, there will be the least NPCs spawning in. Then you don't want your CPU and your GPU to do so much render work, then I would recommend this to put this at low. For people out there that's running low-end machines, put this at low. Really, please go ahead and put this at low because it's going to eat up your GPU and your CPU because it needs to render in the NPCs. So please go ahead and put this at low. Motion Blur is something that I would recommend you choose your own personal preference on. I have mine at off, I don't recommend it for myself, but it's your own personal preference of what you're going to do here. Motion Blur, a lot of people like it in single player games and a lot of people don't. Now I have mine off, so it's my own personal preference. GTA O quality, which is literally the ambient occlusion quality inside this game, I would recommend putting this at medium if you have a medium to high end machine. Please go ahead and put it on this. Do not push it higher, do not push it lower, you do not want to have an eyesore and you also don't want to have less FPS in the game. Grass quality in general, I would leave this at low so that you don't need to render the grass that's very very far away from you, that when you put this at low, the grass right in front of you as you're standing in front of grass. The quality will still be good, but it's not rendering the grass amazingly in. But this is what you don't want to do. You do not want to put this to medium or high or ultra. Because it's then going to render in the grass that's very far away from you. And it's going to then use your VRAM usage and your CPU. And it's going to put a strain on your GPU and your CPU. So I don't recommend this at all. I really don't. Even if you've got the best of machines, put this at low. Contact shadows, this I would recommend to put at low as well. Or you could go with medium if your machine can handle it. Okay? V-Sync, obviously, if you want to put this on, it will cap it to the refresh rate of your monitor. Let's say 60, 120, 144, and you know the rest. All right? So if you want to cap your FPS to the refresh rate of your monitor, go ahead and turn this on. And then it will cap it to that refresh rate and your FPS will stick to that refresh rate. Now, if you see that there's like, I don't know, in this game right now with this, because it's like not in the best of release, because there's a lot of bugs happening in this game right now, I would recommend you just put this off. But if you put this on and your game works perfectly fine, go ahead and turn it on and let it run to the refresh rate of your monitor. Okay? Upscaling, right now at this very moment, if you are running a high-end machine, I would recommend to put upscaling completely off. Upscaling is here, as you can see, there is a cache, 
that it looks like absolute fucking dog shit and I don't recommend it. FSR2 that I would recommend for lower end machines, but I'll go over that just now. But if you are running a high end machine, like a high end CPU, high end GPU, I would recommend that you go ahead and turn this completely off. Please go ahead and do that. Because as you can see, when you do the upscaling in general, you can start playing with the sharpening, obviously, because you're doing upscaling. And then you can also do this, which is the render resolution scale. Now, I'm going to go over these things for the people out there that really needs an FPS boost guide that has not the best of machines. So, if you've got a decent enough machine that's a beast, and you know you've got a really good machine, you turn this off, right? This over here, enable VSR. Now, in general, I would have this on. You can actually read on the right-hand side what it says. Now, for me, in general, in this game, I would put this on, and I would highly recommend that you go ahead and put this on if you have a decent enough machine. I would highly recommend you go ahead and use this, and please go ahead and use it. It does help with, in general, the performance of the game itself. All right. Form grain, this is your own personal preference. Literally, it's your own personal preference and what you're going to need to do inside here i can't tell you what to do inside here mine is 0, 0.00 so there isn't a lot of like intensity in my game and the the sharpness and the film grain itself isn't so intense so i leave mine at 0, 0.00 like yet again like i said it's your own personal preference when it comes to this okay enable depth of field i have mine off but it depends on your personal preference yet again because this one over here actually you'll see a difference between when you're talking to someone that the depth of field actually changes. Also, when you are running around and moving left and right, please go ahead and change this to your own personal preference. I have mine off. Right now, at this very moment, as the settings you can see right now, is the best settings if you aren't using any upscaling whatsoever. Then you use these settings right here. All right, let's go over the upscaling. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so the upscaling in this game is very, very good and bad at the same time to be honest with you it does depend on the machine that you're running so if you're running a very low end machine to a medium end machine this is the settings that you're going to be using and i recommend you use this okay i'm going to go to the upscaling itself and then go here to cache and then go over to fsr fsr is way better than cache cache actually looks like dog shit and you don't want that okay over here right at the top this one here this plays a very big role in this game if you put the render scale at a hundred percent you're going to be losing a lot of fps in this game so i would normally recommend at default to 75 and i would recommend that you leave it there at 75 or if you want to squeeze out a little bit more fps out of this game i would then go ahead and put it at 65 like this I would recommend this to people out there. Dynamic resolution, I would recommend if you don't have the best of machine, like a low end to a medium end machine, to go ahead and enable this, okay? The render resolution scale is something you're going to have to play around with to find your sweet spot for your specific machine. Now, don't expect much if you have like an 8-year-old machine or a 10-year-old machine. Don't expect much. But if you have like a low end to medium end machine, like a mid-spec or something like that, and you're struggling with FPS in general, I highly recommend that you go ahead and go with these settings over here. So the render resolution scale is your own personal preference, which you're going to play on with this with. The percentage. I have mine at 65, and I tested this with my friend's machine, and it's good at 65. The game looks absolutely good. Not the best, but it's playable, and the FPS is playable. It goes over the 90 FPS. So here you're going to come to custom, obviously, and you're going to have your shadow quality at low. You're going to have indirect lighting at low. Reflections you're going to have at low. Particle quality at low. Volumetric lighting, which you do not even need if you have a low end to a medium end machine that can't handle this game, go to low. Crowd density, low always. It doesn't matter if you have a medium end, high end to the best ass machine, like a NASA fucking machine. Put it at low. You do not need this. The more NPCs are going to spawn in to medium to high. A low, the less NPCs are going to be spawning in. Motion blur is your own personal preference yet again. And then this one over here, like I said, is ambient occlusion. Now, something I want to point out there is this. Ambient occlusion will help how the game looks. Now, if your machine can handle the medium preset, go ahead and use that. But if your machine can't handle it at all, go to low over here. Grass quality, 
just go to low. You do not need this to be at medium or high. Contact shadows, I would highly recommend putting this at low as well then. And then this over here, V-Sync, I would recommend by turning this on now. If you've got a very low-end machine to a medium-end machine and that's struggling with this game, put your V-Sync on so it can cap your FPS to refresh rate of your monitor. Please go ahead and do that. Upscaling is going to be FSR 2. Please go ahead and use this one and not the cache version because it makes the game look like absolute dog shit and it's going to make you want to tear out your own eyes. Please leave it over here. The sharpening is your own personal preference. What you're going to need to do inside here is the sharpening for this upscaling, which is FSR 2. I have mine at 30%. Don't copy mine. This is my own personal preference. You can go ahead and copy it if you want to, but it's your own personal preference. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is a brand new AAA title game, but but there's a lot of things that still needs to be implemented into this game. Like, as you can see, upscaling. As you can see, there is no DLSS features and anything like that. So it only literally has FSR2 and then cache and then off. So they will be doing new updates for this game to implement more upscalings and settings that we can take advantage of. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and leave a like if this actually worked for you. All right. So the sharpening, like I said, is your own personal preference. And then enable V. RS, I highly recommend that you do go ahead and enable this on your lower spec to a medium spec machine. Film grain is your own personal preference and an enable depth of field is yet again your own personal preference. But these settings right here, as you can see like this, the game still looks perfectly fine. If you are running a low end machine and you're struggling with FPS, this is the settings you're going to be using for this game right now. Ladies and gentlemen, please go ahead and look at the description down below. There is a little thing that I put there that says for the best settings overall, but this is for people out there that has a decent enough machine to handle this game correctly, where you are not using any upscaling. And then I go over every setting in my description and you're going to copy my settings as they are inside there, exactly as is. And this is going to help you a lot for your game to run smoother in general. This is for people out there that has a decent enough machine to run this game over 60 FPS to 100 or whatever the case might be, but your game's running perfectly fine. Use those settings in my description. Then if you've got a low end machine to a medium end machine, use the settings you're seeing on screen right now. Ladies and gentlemen, if this worked for you, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you're new year, and I'll keep you up to date on the new updates that's coming out for this game. As always, I'm just here to help as best I can, and if I did, smash that motherfucking like button, leave a comment down below, and as always, peace out.